Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome to your uh, eighth installment of FRC Team 2485 Robotics Java Programming Tutorial Videos. Um, got a lot to cover here, so let's get started. Um, basically, what's going to be happening is, okay, so you say you have your robot like this, right? And the example I gave earlier was the rollers. Um, so if you take the rollers... You have to write code to make those motors run. So all the rollers really are right here is a motor. In an object-oriented programming, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be using like classes as a way to like represent one subsystem. That's what we call it, like a subsystem on the robot. And so the rollers together, we're going to call that one subsystem. So we're going to have one class for that. So basically what I'm going to try to do here, I don't know if I'm going to just split it up into two videos or not, but... Um, I'm going to try to, in one video, succinctly, clearly explain um, a piece of code for the rollers, and then we're going to write our own piece of code for um, for the ratchet system. So that's a pneumatic system, and that's just like extending one, uh, firing one piston. So hopefully we'll get in here the rollers, which are one type of actuator, the motor actuator, and we'll also get in the pneumatic actuator on the uh, ratchet system. So, uh, let's get going. Um, so just refer back to these pictures if you have to. Um, obviously this robot's like well in my head, but it might not be well in your head. Um, so, uh, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so as I said before, the rollers are a, um, a subsystem. So, I'm going to be talking about class design here. How do you design your subsystem? based on what the hardware is to interact with everything. Um, so I have the rollers class already, right here. All ready to go. Um, here's a little comment about what the rollers do. They, um, they're the intake wheels. We changed these actually to wheels at one point um, because we found out that that intakes the totes a little bit better. Um, and it looks like a lot of other people saw that also. <laughs> so we have intake wheels at the end of the clapper, which is what we call the, these little, like, flappy arm things. <laughs> um, um, and so this is a really simple class. That's why I picked it. Easy to understand. I think this is actually my first class that I made um, ever. So basically it just has... Okay, so in a class, just like in a regular Java class, you have the fields... Um, which are the like different parts of that the class is keeping track of, um, and then you have a constructor and methods. So the constructor creates it, and then the methods are how you interact with it. Um, so here you can see clearly that we have two speed controllers. You know, I'm gonna actually move this here. Shoot, here. Not what I wanted. Eh, whatever. Okay, you have two speed controllers. So a motor and code is controlled by a speed controller. Um, and the speed controllers um, are going to tell you, you're going to control how much current you end up sending to the motor, and that will hopefully correspond roughly equally to um, how fast they move. So, um, in a, and a speed controller... So here we have these two speed controllers, right? The right wheel and the left wheel. And then we interact with them using these methods. So in take tote, uh, speed controllers have a set method. And that just sets the current, um, let's see, common interface for setting the speed, con the speed of a speed controller. And so the speed is between 0, um, or I guess it's between negative 1 and 1. Um, and so what's important here, uh, it took me a little bit to realize this, uh, actually, I'll talk about the constructor first. Um, when you want to create a new rollers object, um, which you're going to be doing in the robot class, because the robot contains rollers, obviously, um, you have to be able to take in a speed controller for the right wheel and a speed controller for the left wheel. And all it does is it simply assigns those values to the field. Um, and then there are kind of like four different ways, I guess, that you can... Um, manipulate the tote and it just depends on which way you move the rollers so like what what speed I guess you send and what, what the sign on the speed is so it would make sense that to intake the tote you want the speeds to be opposite because if one is spinning counterclockwise 
and then the other is spinning clockwise, then together that's going to funnel it in like a <laughs> 8 or something. But yeah, it's going to all push it in that way. Same way with the reverse toe. You want them to be opposite, but opposite of what they're here. So <laughs> opposite from each other and opposite of what's up there. And then if you make them the same speed, that's going to actually rotate. And we didn't really end up using that method, but if you want to do that, that's a way to handle it.